r slash relationships. Simply Elevated says. Husband resents that I see my parents on my day off with our child. My husband, 36 meters, works full time and I, 35F, work part time, 3 days a week. On my days off, I take our 2 year old to certain classes, so he can meet people and socialize. Every week on one of my days off, I go and see my parents for a few hours as they live 20 minutes away and are retired. He recently said that he doesn't think it's fair that I get to see family and have leisure time whilst has at work and is unable to do that. My dad, 60 meters, also babysits our son for one of the days, so I see him when I finish work for a bit before he leaves. I don't really see what I can do about that other than come straight home after our morning activities and not see them or feel guilty for being able to see them so frequently. His parents live 2 hours away, and we see them every 3 to 4 weeks. TL, doctor, husband resents me seeing family when he works full time. Not sure whether to stop going, or continue whilst he sits in his resentment edit, he wfh and has done 4 years. Since before meeting me. I did ask how he would feel if I stayed home instead of going to my parents and he wouldn't feel that was unfair. I understand his feeling, but I wouldn't ask him to do certain things on his lunch break as that's time for him to have a break from work. Bookaholic four of us says. I wouldn't ask him what his solution is. Should you now isolate your child at home so you don't get to be out and about while he's working? Hammer3232 says. Misery loves company. KidCuts212 says. So is the unfair part, in his perspective, you seeing your parents more than he sees his? Or that you see people while he's working? The second option is irrational given that he already said he was alright with you being part time and he did not want to cut back on his hours. What you do in your spare time is your business. However, if it's the first option, maybe suggest that he see his parents more often, when he's off work. Ask if his parents can meet halfway, so he only has to drive an hour to see them. That could make it more possible for him to see them more often. Otherwise, if he's not open to solutions, and just wants to whine, just acknowledge his frustration, but make sure he doesn't hold on to it, because that's not fair to you. Ryan Chronicles says. Do you not accomplish a lot of the household tasks or something? I'd understand his feelings, if you're loafing off most days, and then he has to come home do even more work. But it sounds more like he just feels resentful, that you get to social as a sorry but that's petty, and it's his problem to deal with. I understand you feel bad about it, but you've tried helping him work less hours. He's basically just feeling bitter, and that can be a normal emotion to pop up, but he doesn't get to act on it. He doesn't get to ask you to sit at home just because. And I know you don't want to see him as the bad guy, but he really is just asking you to enjoy your time less because he does. A whole misery loves company complex going on here. As for what to do about it, he needs to figure out how to deal with his feelings. Emotions are normal valid, but we have to think things through and act rationally. I would personally try to understand the roots of what bothers him see if there's anything you can do to make it better. Does he need more time to socialize with his friends to feel happy? More trips to see his family? If he's feeling kind of burnt out or something at work, what can he do that would make him more happy? The answer is not to lower your own happiness. Especially when you're still doing your childcare job, just doing it in a more enjoyable environment. And he might need to talk to a therapist, or do some research into dealing with the feelings he's having. Day Season Daffodils says. It isn't fair. Life isn't fair. It isn't your job, to make everything perfectly fair between the two of you. Go see your parents, and tell him to figure out a way, to deal with his feelings about it. Thomas Edmund 84 says. Yikes, this seems super red flag on behalf of your so. Seems like he's really honed in on negging your social contacts. Also he's elevating his feelings above all the logic, not a great look. 
Hope you're safe and well up. R slash relationships. Throw away 392,717,171 says. I just found out my 30th boyfriend, 30 meters, of 3 years messaged a man on Grinder. What the frick? I just came home from a night shift, my boyfriend was out late last night drinking, maybe drugs too, but was home in bed when I got in. I went in to say hi, and he was passed out with his phone open. It was a grinder chat. It was sexual in nature. What the frick? First of all, I don't particularly give a shit if has be or curious. Im bisexual. But we're so close, and I can't believe he wouldn't feel comfortable saying that to me, idk. Throughout our relationship lack of sex has been a bit of an issue, as in I want to and he doesn't, so in the context of this I'm now questioning everything. But mainly I can't believe he would sext some random stranger, male or female. I trusted him completely. I've never had any doubts. I've never had a relationship where I have felt this loved, safe and secure, and I feel like my world has been shaken. I should be going to sleep right now as I have another night shift tonight. What the frick? TL, Dr. My boyfriend sexted another man last night. N Bunny E says. Straight up ask him about it. Be honest, give him a chance to explain himself, but also include your own thoughts, and how it makes you feel as well. R slash relationships. Terranium79 says. Ideas to treat my 24f boyfriend 25 meters and make him feel special. My 24f boyfriend 25 meters has been down recently because I've been occupied with work and haven't given him much special treatment, so he has been feeling underappreciated. What are some ideas to treat him to a special evening that won't break our budget? Money is pretty tight. Has not really a fan of flowers. His main love language is acts of service. We've been dating for over a year, and moved in together a few months ago so we're trying to keep the romance alive, now that we're settled into our house, and see each other every day. TLDR, special date ideas I guess? Any suggestions appreciated. Susqueen2021 says. I'd say give him a massage, and keep it sexy, p wear something cute and cook for him. Natural underscore collection 45 says. Cook a lovely dinner, do all cooking, prep, clean up. Back massage, etc. Lil Fera Princess 111 says. I'd probably make some dinner for him, and light some candles in the bedroom or just have dim lighting. You could give him like a 30 minute massage or so, play some tantric music and wear some lingerie then you know what comes next. I also enjoy reading a novel out loud to my own boyfriend, a topic that we both enjoy. It's a pretty non-sexual intimate thing to do. Salty Muse says. I've done with success giving facials, using my cleaners and moisturizer slash mask, to give a nice soothing face neck massage, foot bath and massage movie and blanky fortnights with favorites max full body massage random love notes, in unexpected places royalty for a day, gets my full attention for the whole day, and can choose what activities we do either from a list or their own thoughts. Favorite food festival walks in nearby parks look for free events put on by your living area board game slash card games thrift stores. R slash relationships. Add technical 7973 says. My 22F BFS 27 meters job causes him so much pain. How can I help? Just to clarify I 22F don't live in the same city as my bf, 27 meters, so that also makes it difficult, because I'm not close enough to come help him. Several years ago he was in an accident which didn't leave him crippled, but left him in chronic pain from it. He has a very strenuous job, and it worries me, because he comes home in so much pain, that I feel like has going to kill himself trying to work this job. 
His type of job is mostly all has done his life so it's what he knows how to do and feels comfortable doing, so I feel guilty asking him to switch jobs, but seeing him in so much pain that he can barely move when he gets home makes it seem like that job is not worth it. What can I do to help him? TL. Doctor my BF works a strenuous job that's really hard on him so much that he can barely move after work, what can I do to help? I feel bad asking him to leave his job and find something that's not hurting him, because this is what he knows how to do. Percival Sweetwood us says. Unfortunately, you can just mention to him that maybe another job would suit him better, or going back to school, even just for a technical degree. Mention it, just to gauge his reaction. If he seems open to the idea encourage him. If not, just let him be the one to decide when enough is enough. As a man I can say for us, it's a pride thing to be able to do something we really like, even if we are in pain. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.